Greetings, friends. Welcome to the inaugural episode of Externally Process. I'm your host, Joel, and today we're going to talk about symbols. <laughs> Not that kind of symbol. One of the most influential theologians of the 20th century, Mr. Paul Tillich, describes symbols as being similar to what he calls signs in that they both point to something beyond themselves. Now, symbols, unlike signs, participate in the life of that to which they point, which is different than signs, according to Tillich. Let me show you. Tillich would call this a sign. Anybody who's been in a car for at least five seconds knows what to do when you come to one of these bright red octagons on the street. Kids, say it with me. Stop! That's right. That's a sign. It points to something else. Tillich would say that this, however, which is a reasonable facsimile to an American flag, is a symbol. It's similar to a sign in that it points to something else, the nation for which it stands, but the flag participates in the life of that to which it points in a way that's different from a sign. For example, if you take a flamethrower to a stop sign and the American flag, just see which one gets more people riled up. When it comes to matters of faith, what Tillich calls ultimate concern, symbolic language, he says, is the only thing we have that can even begin to express that which is ultimate. So when we talk about God, the words, the names, the metaphors, the language we use to describe who and what God is can never close the book on the conversation of who and what is the divine mystery, or what Tillich calls the ground of all being. When our concepts of God, even the word God itself, become to us the very thing to which they're supposed to point, for Tillich, that's just a form of idolatry. So we, as creative creatures reflecting the divine image, create art and poetry and music to express this divine reality that we experience, luring us to the good of all things. And God becomes mother, father, friend, protector, healer, companion, all of these things and so much more. To paraphrase Peter Rollins, that which we cannot speak of becomes that to whom and about whom we can never stop speaking. Thank you, friends. Let's continue the conversation in the comments below. And please let me know what topic you would like to externally process with me next. Peace.